All right, so are we ready? Are we ready to roll this thing? Yes, I am. Now, this, I do a little presentation too. I like it. It's a little something for me, a little something for you. This is my first slide, which is kind of a testament to how difficult it is to come up with 20 slides. Uh, but I am, this is a spark. I'll explain all that. But when you start out doing it at night, it's hard to think of 20 slides. And then suddenly you're super focused and you find a thing and you're digging deep and you find you know more than you ever thought you could. And your kids are like, I'm hungry, Father. And you're like, hold on, I need to Photoshop my head on this Minotaur. To make a point, I mean, you get into it. And I mentioned our... You can kill some time on our YouTube channel. So this is the formula for passionate brilliance. This is the formula that has suddenly made PowerPoint interesting again. It's 20 slides, 15 seconds a slide. To spark the rules, I just made these up essentially. Just be yourself. That goes for you too. You know, be yourself. Dress like you just got off a tractor. I mean, just relax. <laughs> Screw perfection. Uh, and, and as you can see, that's why it's done. I'm not done, but I don't care. Perfection sucks. Uh, like, you can get up here and talk about a book you wrote or something you did for credibility. Even like, I don't know, herbal medicine, our soul dies. <laughs> So there may be cussing because I'm a father of three young children. The opportunity to not sign Dr. Seuss when I'm angry, and and then this begins now. This I sample spark, and mine tonight, and not to get too grave. Mine tonight is about humanity and some issues we have. I think that for the first time in human history, we may have given up on adapting to change. Like, evolution isn't our thing. And I, it's like we are a metaphor for ourselves. We have everything. We're like the rock star that especially and most definitely the keys to our own self-destruction. And I, I don't want to bonk on humanity too much. We've done some awesome stuff, microwave ovens, and we have watches that tell us our emails and phones that tell us the time, and we can put an entire pizza in our mouth, maybe even seven of them. <laughs> this is big. We're so advanced. We're like, fuck the moon. We're over. We're over you. We're done. But it is from that elevation that I would like to look down, and I think there's a problem, and that is that, and nothing says it better than this tweet here. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says it better. I thank this woman. <laughs> Folks, we are our own worst enemy. Some people might say, well, climate change is a thing, but it's not our fault. People, like every day, several billion of us wake up, and to get our day started, we set petroleum on fire. That's going to backfire at some point. <laughs> We were just pissed in this movie because it's our world to destroy, you green bastards. I mean, come on now. I mean, you think at some point we'd start to motivate and wake up. And the whole thing that I keep thinking about is like, we've sacrificed in the past. We've made sacrifices in the past, and it worked. And now we're like, sacrifices for pussies, Grandpa. Look what I built with your inheritance. It would have involved getting rid of the lawnmower and getting a baby goat. Now suddenly your lawnmower produces milk and perhaps meat on certain holidays. That's a sacrifice we have to make. Why that? Oh, we had to get an electric guitar, like a guitar. We had to turn off the lights and make love. We had to turn off the NFL and screw like monkeys throughout the afternoon. Turn off the lights. I put that TV over, not to objectify her, but she had little marionette nipples, and I didn't know if I was going to. <laughs> we had to work in our underwear at home. But if they don't have a policy at your work to work in your underwear at home, then show up like this. <laughs> and it could quickly happen, Marissa Meyer. But my thing is, there, there's naysayers in saying that doing the little things to fight won't do it. But 
we got to start somewhere, and that's what tonight is about. If I could something that's a metaphor. Tonight is the sparks that things, and I hope you're inspired as you see speakers throughout the evening, like our next presenter. Who knows Chris Jones here? Blouse. <laughs> How's your lady? Is it a thing or what? I'm sorry, because I gotta go backstage. <laughs>